rolling. Okay. All right, so we're just going to look at chucking some oysters. I got a plate of them here. And you know, they come in all kind of different sizes. You see that there? Uh, no matter what size they come in, um, the first thing you want to do, they'll be covered with mud and they'll be cold. And so uh, you want to rinse them in kind of lukewarm water. You kind of want to kind of the cold side. Scrub them off. It's the first thing. And I've already got these scrubbed and rinsed. The next thing you do is the actual shucking part, and you use a shucking knife. Um, I would suggest getting a quality shucking knife because you want something strong enough to use and pry this apart. Using a regular knife, chances are you're just going to bend it up, and uh, that's no good. And you want a quality tool to work with. You don't want to hurt yourself either. Okay, so when you're at this stage, again, when you hold the, uh, when you hold the oyster, um, you'll see the mouth. You'll find the mouth of the oyster. And that's where you actually stick in the knife to, to, to shuck the thing. And so what you do is you stick it in the mouth, like you see me doing here, and you just kind of work it, like you see me doing. Some oysters will be tougher than others, and particularly when you get started shucking, I, I suggest wearing gloves, like work gloves. And once you get comfortable, you can kind of fly without the gloves. But it's, it's important at first, I, I would say. So you see how I did that? I just pulled that apart. Now what you're going to do is, um, you know, obviously the half that doesn't have the meat on it, you get rid of. But the half that does, you're actually going to rinse this again. You're actually going to, just under a gentle stream of water, you're just going to turn it on and rinse that. And then it's ready to eat if you like them raw, um, or if you like to steam them or whatever the rate of steam, or if you're going to take the whole thing out and fry it, then you'll be ready for that. But you do another cycle of washing after you shuck it. I'll, I'll shuck one more for you, just so you can see me do it. Um, let's see. Some of these are kind of crazily shaped, so I'm going uh, to get this one. Okay, so you can see me do this one more time. I'm just going to get the knife right there in the mouth, and You'll, you'll, you'll get a feel for where the mouth of the oyster is. Sometimes pieces will break apart, kind of like you see happening here. Um, and some oysters will be tougher than others. Some of them will come right apart, and some of them you really just kind of have to work it. But be careful. Go slow. Don't hurt yourself. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of twist this off here. Being a little bit of a tough customer. There we go. So there that is. Okay, so again, these are ready to rinse off and then take to the next stage or whatever you're going to do with them.